Having Google Shopping set up and connected for your Shopify store is another way for your products to be featured on the Google search engine and to actually be running Google Shopping ads. So in this video, we're gonna go through how to set up the Google Shopping app and connect it to your Shopify store so that your products sync correctly. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elle McCann, and I've been a Shopify expert for over six years now. If you're new to this channel, we post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. If you've been a subscriber for a while, thanks so much for watching, and make sure to comment below and say, hey, we would love to connect with you. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we're gonna be talking about setting up the Google Shopping app in our Shopify store. So first off, you may say, what is this and why do I need it? Well, you've probably seen this happen before whenever you've searched for a specific product. So let's say, for example, you typed in black women's boots into the Google search engine. You would probably get a search result like this page here, where you'll actually see the images at the top of different products and links directly to that product page. So these are actually Google Shopping ads and it's a great visual way to get your product in front of people and get them to actually go to your product page and hopefully buy your product. A lot of times, especially when you're looking for a specific product, customers will click on these Google Shopping ads because they're just visually more appealing. You can see the image, the title, you can see if they have reviews that are connected in and see that on their store, and it's just more engaging than all of the text links that you can see below where you're not exactly sure what that product's gonna look like. So we're about to hop into my computer now and set that up, but I did just wanna say that there are some restrictions for this. So first off, you can do the Google Shopping app. It's a free app in the Shopify app store that was actually made directly by Shopify. And then you just need a Google Merchant account to link up to that. And we'll be setting that up next in my computer. As I mentioned though, it does have restrictions and it is not available in all countries and all currencies. So I'm gonna put a link below in the description so you can actually see if it's available in your currency. My store that I'm going to be doing this for is based in the United States and it is USD currency. So we are approved for that. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into my computer screen now and I'll show you how to get it set up. Okay, so setting this up for Google Shopping has a couple different steps. So make sure to follow along with me. But the first step is going to be adding in this Google Shopping app from the Shopify App Store to your Shopify store. Now I will say, as you can see here, it is a lower rated app because it does have some glitches uh, and this is done by Shopify. So you can see here that they are the creators of it. So if you do have any issues with the app, the first step that I recommend you doing is actually reach out to Shopify support area and they'll be able to help you with that since that is an app that's sponsored by them or created by them. So just know that we're gonna be adding this in but you may have some glitches with your app. So we're gonna just go ahead and hit this add app button. And then I'm gonna to go to my Shopify store real quick and copy my URL up here at the top and paste it in. You may already be logged in to the Shopify app store so you may not have to do this step but I'm gonna hit log in. And now we are in our Shopify store and it's just asking for permission to do of all of these different items that it needs to do for the app to function. So we're just gonna hit install app. And you get an alert message here of this is the information that you need to have on your store. And if you don't have this, that they may suspend your account. So um, I know we don't have the mailing address or phone number on our store. If we go to our online store here for online store, I'm gonna open that in a new tab. So let's scroll down to the bottom, let's see. So we have a contact us, but we don't have any of the address or any of that information on this page. So we would definitely want to go in and add that additional information on the contact us page that it was wanting like the address and the phone number and the email address so that we can make sure that we are within these standards. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit yes that I've added the contact information and once I'm done recording this video, I'll go back in and add it to my store but make sure that you are definitely adding this into your store as well. 
Okay, so now it is wanting us to create or connect a Google account to use Google Shopping. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit connect a Google account and select my Google account there. And again, allow it permissions. So now it's saying to select a Google Merchant account from this list. So I need to actually create a new one because this is not the one we want to use. So to create one, we're just gonna hit this link here, create a Merchant Center account. And now you can see it's created this new ID for us and it's gonna walk us through some of the things that are needed. So first off, we have this information being pulled in from our store settings of our currency, our target country, and our language. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to automatically import my shipping settings so that it will connect with what I have already in my Shopify store. And then next, it is an information about the product feed. So I don't have, this is a new Merchant Center account, so I don't have any information already for a product feed, so it won't have any conflict here, but if you did already have a product feed set up, you need to first delete those products before connecting, otherwise it could have an issue there. And then now you can see that the domain settings, it will automatically claim my domain by my Merchant Center account, which is another reason of how you need to make sure that you're getting verified. So we are going to keep both of these at the recommended of the SEO product title and description. You could set that to your default. However, your product title and description, if you've put in the effort, is going to have more of your keywords. So we wanna make sure that that's included in the listing. So I'm just gonna hit configure account. And now you can see that it says our product sync is underway. So it has pulled in all of our products that we have here and it is pending for all of them as you can see here so then once it actually gets approved which can take three to five business days for google to approve the pending product then you can see it come into these categories here of not approved uh, pending or approved and so if something was originally not approved then you could go in and you could see why it wasn't approved a lot of times it's if the labels don't match what Google's labels are. So if you had something labeled style where Google calls it color or things like that of how you're sorting your different variants especially, you would want to go in and make those edits and make sure that that resyncs. So you could see all of the different variants that you have available for each individual product by hitting view variant. And you can see these products here don't have a variant which is why they are not having that option. We can also click in to edit Google Shopping fields. And here's where you can add in all of your categorization and customization to connect it with Google. So it's easier for them to identify your product and categorize it correctly whenever someone is searching. So you could come in, this is a necklace, so you could put the specific material here, what the age range is for. So we would wanna say adult, you know, female, the condition, a lot of times would be new unless you're selling used products. And then you can come in and add in your Google product category. So that's really important, again, to make sure that it is being categorized correctly. So you can click here and see all of the list of the product categories to make sure that you're sorting yours in the correct area. So you would want to go through and fill out all of this and make sure it is set up and hit save whenever you are going in and setting this up for the first time and getting that to sync. So I'm just gonna X out of this, and I'm gonna come back here to apps on the left-hand side, and then Google Shopping, because now we've added this to our store. So now that's how you'll get in to see, again, when things are approved or not approved, and make any changes needed. So the next step, once you've got all of your products in and approved and you don't have any issues, is then you can go in and actually set up the Google Ads, which we're not gonna cover in this video, but we will in an upcoming video. So the first step is just to get all of these products to where they are approved and edited however you need them to be. And now that I am finished recording this part of the video, I'm gonna go back and make sure that I add in the additional contact information so that while they are taking a look at my products 
and my store that I have that contact information that was required on my store, as well as I'm gonna go through all of these different fields and make sure that I go ahead and get that edited so that it is approved the first time around. And hopefully I don't have any disapproved products. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below and we would love to help you out. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button so that you're the first to be notified about any new videos or tutorials that we put out about Shopify and how to grow your online store. Thanks for watching.